Sherry Community Hospital is facing an uphill task of recovering over 400 million shilling debt from recovered patients. According to the hospital trustees, immediately after healing, patients could promise to clear their hospital bills upon reaching home. But this has since gone in vain, leaving the hospital choking in immense debts. Right away now, one of the things we suffer are uh, immense debts. Because a poor person comes when he's, he really needs treatment. Do you trust him away? The hospital administration has also thought otherwise. Reports indicate that patients are being blood from, exist from the hospital premises before clearing all the money demanded for. Some years back, government requested to take up this facility for funding, but its board of trustees refused. For me, I was a strong supporter of this hospital being taken by government because I knew it would overcome all those challenges of lack of funds, lack of staff. But the trustees, in their wisdom, said no, if it goes to government, maybe there will be no changes. I didn't see uh, the uh, big reason. The chairman board of trustees for Rusheri Community Hospital, Tandika Paul, said they declined government's request mainly because they wanted it to uplift one of its health center falls into a district hospital, which could be a big advantage to Kiruhura district. If Kiruhura is a district like other districts, and by policy, a district is entitled to share on the national cake a general hospital. Why do we deny ourselves such, such a share? Because coming, the, the, this one, as you can see, if you've been around here, it is, it is already overstretched. So having another one, which is our due share on the national cake, is no problem. Rushere Community Hospital that started in 2005 is the only health facility that provides quality basic health services to over 90,000 people in Rikiruhura and the neighboring districts of Kazo, Sembabuli, and Liantonde. The facility also delivers about 900 mothers annually, but still lacks enough staff to handle this huge number. Currently, we have about 76 workers, and the status of the hospital is that we need to have 190 workers. So we can say that we have about 40% staffing, which is so, 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 so below the required limit to have a fully functional general hospital. Besides, the hospital is grappling with the immense electricity and water bills, enough ambulance service and the small maternity ward. Uh, I thank the president sometimes he bailed them out but we've been discussing with the government that they serve that challenge. The government of Japan through the Japan Grant Assistance for Grassroots Human Security Project has donated an obstruct camp facility that will support the operating theater delivery room Matano beds, all at a cost of 287 million shillings. We believe that everybody should have an equal opportunity. Easy to say, difficult to do, but we will continue with these projects. I don't know how long we'll take, but we have to do it. Because it's going to support that woman, of course, who was not getting that chance. Uh, it's going to support the vulnerable group of, uh, of women. 